Hello, this is Chitran Shaksana from Just Tutors. Today we are going to learn more about nutrition in plants. We have already learned some uh, topics of nutrition in plants in the last video. So we'll move on further learning about the ways of what is nutrition in plants. Let's check out what are the objectives of this video today. So the objective of today's videos are very first is other modes of nutrition in plants that what are the other modes of nutrition in plants how do they get their food then we'll learn about saprotrophs and how nutrition nutrients are replenished in the soil before learning about these objectives we will try some warm-up questions to check out that what we have remembered from last video or the last topic so here are some warm-up questions you can try these questions by pausing the video and after that you can check your answers on the next slide Take your time and try these questions. Here are the answers of your all the questions. If your answers are correct, then well done. The, you have really good basic knowledge uh, prior to this topic which we are going to learn today. So let's start with our today's knowledge and learning what we have to learn. So very first we have various modes of nutri nutrition in plants. So as we have learned in the last video that basically there are only two modes of nutrition in all the organisms. The very first is autotrophic mode of nutrition and the second is heterotrophic mode of nutrition. We have learned that autotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which organism usually an autotrophic plant which contains a green color pigment in its leaf called chlorophyll prepares its own food by the process of photosynthesis about which we read in our last video as a topic. Now in this video we will focus mainly on heterotrophic mode of nutrition in which an organism does not prepare its own food rather it takes the food prepared by other organisms. So let's see what is it. <coughs> so heterotrophic plants or heterotrophic nutrition in plants they do not possess chlorophyll therefore they cannot produce their own food using the process of photosynthesis because we remember that for the process of photosynthesis chlorophyll is the most important component we need so heterotrophic plants obtain food from other plants by following some other ways like we can see here the other ways they follow to obtain their food is like uh, they use parasitic mode saprophytic mode symbiotic and some are insectivorous now we learn what are these modes let's move ahead parasitic mode of nutrition the organism which exhibit parasitic mode of nutrition are called as parasites parasites obtain their nourishment or nutrition from other living organisms in parasitic mode of nutrition plants depend on other plants or animals for their nourishment such plants are called as parasites so as we can see there are some plants which do not prepare their own food rather they feed their food and or they feed upon the food prepared by other organisms such plants deprive the host plant from their nutrients for example cascata we also say it amarbil this plants plant climbs on other plants to deprive them of their valuable nutrients now the next mode is insectivorous mode of nutrition there are some plants which are unable to synthesize the nitrogenous nutrients required by them so in order to meet this requirement of theirs they consume insects such insects eating plants are called insectivorous plants and such mode of nutrition is called insectivorous mode of nutrition these are the plants with spe special leaves that are modified into special structures. These structures have the ability to trap the organisms. As you can see in this picture, that it is a special kind of plant which have a special structure. And this structure helps them to uh, catch these insects so that they can obtain their food by them. For example, the Venus fly trap and the picture plant are some of the insectivorous plants. Venus flytrap feeds on small animals and insects to obtain their nourishment. These plants especially obtain the nitrogen they require from insects and small animals. Now the next is saprotrophic mode of nutri nutrition. There are some plants like algae which take their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter. 
they release some enzymes on such organic matter which decompose the organic matter into liquid form and then these plants take their nutrients in liquid form such a mode of nutrition is called saprotrophic mode of nutrition so the plant so we can say in short the plants which exhibit saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called as saprotrophs for example mushrooms or indian pipe which is found on dead or rotting material or inhabits fungus in its roots these extend their mycelium and secret enzymes to digest the decaying matter now the next is symbiotic mode of nutrition symbiosis is the phenomenon by which two organisms maintain relationship with each other to be mature mutually benefited in symbiotic mode organisms develop a special relationship with certain other organisms to obtain their nourishment organisms involved in this type of relationship are called symbionts or in short we can say there are some organisms which live together and use each other's resources such kind of mutual relationship is called symbiotic relationships and plants which use this mode of nutrition are called symbionts you can see in this picture and for example some fungi live in the root of trees and get nutrients from them and in return plants are helped by them to absorb water and other nutrients from the soil in another class of organism called lichens has two partners sharing symbiotic relationship alga and fungus live together so now how nutrients are replenished in the soil as we have already learned that plants take nutrients like phosphorus potassium and nitrogen from soil in order to prepare their food so if we keep on planting the same kind of crop year after year it will make the soil deficient of certain kind of nutrients so the question arises how nutrients are replenished in the soil in natural environment the nutrients can be replenished by the decaying of plants which adds up the humus to the soil organic materials like compost and other decaying materials adds structure to the soil compost is the best and most effective way to replenish their nutrients in the soil than organic material so nutrients are replenished by certain different microorganisms that are found in soil or also by death of dirty certain plants such as rhizobium plant and decaying plants tend to slowly break down into soil nutrients these are different ways to replenish nutrients in the soil you can pause the video and read them clear uh, carefully now on the basis of the video all the learnings we have made in this video there are some practice questions which you could try and for trying these questions you could pause the video and after that you can check all your answers on the next slide provided for you here are your answers if all your answers are correct then very well done you have made a tremendous progress by looking into this video and if not then you can watch this video once again and try these questions that's all for this video for more videos you could log on to justtutors.com thank you